now involved in what may have been, I guess, the biggest wrestling match, single match in the history of the city. It was at Russwood Park at Sputnik Monroe. Can you hear us? Sir. Sputnik, are you there? Yes, sir. He's here. Yeah, we okay. Can't hear we couldn't, you hear, well, we right. couldn't hear you, all right. Uh, tell us a little bit about what led up to that match at Russwood Park and, and uh, all the things that went on that evening. Well, uh, you're asking me to remember a long time back. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the idea was that uh, I wouldn't make uh, any bad moves or uh, do any illegal things to see if I really had uh, wrestling ability. And when it got down to the nitty gritty, I spit Billy Wicks' face and he hit me in the eye and I won the match. There you go. Billy Wicks was the first one to throw a punch, right? Yes, sir. Well, you know what, Sputnik? I had, uh, I had the opportunity to speak to Billy Wicks on the phone the other day. We're going to give him a call in a couple of weeks. And the very first person he asked about was Sputnik Monroe. I mean, you know, a lot, a lot of people don't realize that they're all of these intense rivalries and they think everybody, uh, you know, just really hated each other. And he was probably your biggest rival here, but a lot of respect came out of it. You guys became good friends, didn't you? Yes, sir. You, you know, Sputnik, this is Jimmy Hart. I, I've got a great uh, story that I want to tell. First of all, Sam Phillips, Knox Phillips, and Jerry Phillips over at Sun Studios said to please tell you hello, okay? Thank you. You're very welcome. And uh, I used to, when I was like in the ninth grade over at Humes High School before I went to Travel High School here in Memphis, I used to walk every Monday night up to Ellis Auditorium where Mr. Coffee was. Mr. Coffee would come outside and he'd pick out the guys that he'd let sell Coca-Colas for the night. Well, I would try to sell all of my Coca-Colas so I could definitely watch the main event. And the main event was Sputney Monroe against Billy Wicks for the Cadillac. And it was the greatest thrill of my life watching that match. What, they, what, what was that match like? That was, that was one everybody always talked about, the Cadillac at stake. Well, that's when Cadillacs cost $5,000, and that was a lot of money then. Wow. <laughs> and as luck would have it, uh, I didn't win. Oh, really? But uh, had a great match, and uh, it's, uh, it, it's great to go back over these old matches and remember... Uh, the abilities that you have. Uh, uh, wrestling is a lifetime learning experience. There are 3,500 wrestling holes and 10,000 variations because everybody that weighs 200 pounds is not the same size. Right. Some are fat, some are skinny, some got long legs, short arms, long, long arms, short legs, long throat, short trunk. So <clears throat> there's a lot to uh, learn about wrestling. Now let me ask you one other thing. I, 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 I've wondered this, I've heard this story many times, uh, and you can verify it because we have you right here on the phone now. I heard that Sputnik Monroe at one time walked around the city of Memphis with something special on a, on a, on a leash. Is this true and can you tell me what it was? Yeah, uh, me and Dewey Phillips had a goose. A goose, that's it, that's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was dyed purple. It, we took it down Beale Street, and the people were turning backflips because we had a goose on a leash. What? Now tell us, what was the, was that just a publicity stunt? Why would you walk a purple goose around on a leash? So that they know who you are. There you go. And everybody knew something to go Peabody on a blanket, and, they, and Tony Lau, the chief of police, sent six policemen down there to get me because I, I had a traffic jam. And I said, uh, six of you are not tough enough to take me to jail unless you shoot me. And I don't think you want to do that. So nope. he sent 12 guys down with shotguns and a black Mariah. I got a lot of publicity. Wow. Well, you Sputnik, did. Sputnik, I wish we had the whole hour. Someday we'll have to do that. We're out of time right here. Thank you so Jimmy, much Jimmy, I want to give you us. something. They called them dolls when that came out. But now <laughs> they called them dolls. <laughs> Jimmy Hart doll thank has you. just been presented to Mr. Hart by Mr. Coffee. Sputnik, thank you again. We'll be talking to you down the road. Thank you. See you later. All right. God bless everybody in Memphis. Thank See you. Ya. Bye. Bye. We'll be back. Opening the